This is R I C K Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to copy everything from your Samsung Galaxy phone to your Pixel XL. Now, this will be the same for any Samsung Galaxy as well as any Android for that matter. So, what are you going to need? When you first start your Pixel, after you have your SIM card inside of it, or if you just want to skip that portion, it'll ask you, do you want to copy your data from another device? Now, you're going to do this by using this adapter that comes with it. This adapter is going to plug in at the bottom of the Pixel XL, and you're going to plug a USB in here, and the end of that USB will connect via micro USB. So, what do I mean? I mean, I'm going to plug this one right in here and plug that into the pixel and I'm going to tap copy your data and I'm going to plug this in here now it might need a Wi-Fi connection as it's asking me for right now and that's in order to transfer over all of apps and everything that it might need to download so we're gonna tap that right there and we're going to type in our Wi-Fi password And once we authenticate it, it's having a little trouble, it seems like. Huh, looks like the Pixel XL is having a little trouble connecting over to our Wi-Fi. Let's try doing another one. Or maybe it was just a fact. Let's try doing our other Wi-Fi connection. see if that works yay there we go so now it's checking for the updates I don't know if it's a standard thing that it has an issue with the 2.4 when using this cable the 2.4 did work when we first turned on the pixel XL and set up the phone but we just did reset it so maybe that's what it's using and now it detects that the cable is there so it has downloaded the app it looks like yep the uh, Google uh, transfer data app and we're gonna hit copy and it'll copy our accounts it looks like and it's going to ask you for the password of course now I'm guessing it's gonna ask for the password for each account I do have I believe four of them on here so let's see if it does ask for all of the account names yes so it's asking me for every single uh, password before it will transfer them over, which is of course good. And now it's getting ready to copy after I've signed into every Gmail account, which again I had four on this phone. Now you choose what you want to copy over. So I have a lot of storage on this phone and unfortunately I only have 20 gigs available because I didn't do I didn't get the bigger storage so let's see what we can do um, maybe we won't transfer well the photos and the videos are gonna be probably the biggest thing to transfer and I'm guessing we can't choose so right away I don't like one thing about the uh, Pixel XL transfer thing and that is that you know normally I can actually select uh, say with smart switch that Samsung has you can select what you want to transfer over within that photos and videos here though I can only either transfer everything or nothing which since I only have 20 gigs I just have to not be able to transfer over anything uh, so I'll transfer over everything else 
and I'll hit copy and while the phone's connecting uh, you can actually just go next and it will be calculated the time remaining now this is a fully uh, packed 32 gig phone as you can see I did not have enough space on here to accept the full storage so that can be problematic uh, definitely a reason why you want to get the higher storage don't just get the 32 gig as we did here for our review unit uh, you most likely want to get the 128 gig uh, by all means alright guys so that is how you transfer everything over from your Samsung Galaxy or Android phone to the Pixel or Pixel XL hopefully you did like this video if you did please give a like thumbs up down below this has been RICKY the Android guy